Hi, this is Professor CC19, here today with the introduction to Event 10 of the 2018 Summer Marble Algolympics, Olympics, The Collision. But before we take a look at this event, we're going to spend some time analyzing the numbers and uh, taking a closer look at the overall standings after Event Number 9, Elimination Basketball. In Event 9, quite a few teams that were um, kind of unexpected rose to the top of the podium, or near it. Team Wungla was that team on top of the podium, getting gold and rising back up to 6th place with 88 points. It was their second medal. The Icers got silver, their third silver. There are, they are now back in 7th with 84. And the Fireballs got bronze, their second medal. They are in 5th place with 93, but they're only one point behind Team Transparent and only four behind the O'Raiders. So another good finish for the Fireballs might mean they will challenge for the podium going into these last few events. In the meantime, a lot of other teams had some disappointing finishes. Black Knights finished last, so that means they stay at 58 and sink down well, actually, I think they had already sunk down, but remain in the bottom quarter of the leaderboard there in 13th. Team Neon fell quite a few spots from 8th down to 11th, finishing 15th. They only have 1 bronze and 66 points. Brownies finished in 12th. They are staying in this bottom section as well. Now, when I started the video, I said I was going to analyze the numbers for you, and I'm going to try and do it in a simple way so that you can understand the situation with these bottom half teams, and uh, at this moment, most particularly the Strawberry Streamers. Going into Event 9, I had brought up a scenario that the Strawberry Streamers might be mathematically eliminated from winning the Alg Olympics. And as we go on in these last few events, events 10, 11, and 12, that scenario will keep coming up only with other teams. Um, I'll break it down like this. Each event has 25 points up for grabs for gold. And right now, going into event 10, there's three events left, so that's a maximum of 75 points. If you add 75 points to Strawberry Streamers, assuming that they would win all three of the final events, they would be a 112. And that means that even though that chance is incredibly small, there is still a chance for them to win the Alg Olympics. But, after this event, there will only be 50 points left up for grabs from the remaining two events. So that means that if any team is more than 50 points behind the leaders, there's no way they can catch up enough to win. So say that um, Strawberry Streamers did not get enough to win gold, even if Ash Royals finished last and remained at 111, and Strawberry Streamers got bronze, let's say. Well, if they got bronze, they would be at 52. And that's more than 50 points behind. Even if they won the next two events, they would only be at 102. So that means that if Strawberry Streamers want to win, the only way they can is to win all three events. It's very unlikely, but it is still possible, so we still give them the chance. As we go on here, a lot of other teams are going to start to get worried, because if the Azure Royals perform really well here, that number could go up and mean that certain teams have to be above the 50s, above the 60s, if they want to win. So now Crimson Crusaders, Ultraviolets, Black Knights, Brownies, and perhaps even Team Neon are in danger of being eliminated in this event if the Azure Royals perform well enough. And um, it's certainly possible. We have seen Azure Royals on the podium five times before in only nine events. So um, they're very consistent. They're very good. Minter Green's also a factor. They are above 100 points. Either way, we're only going to find out in Event 10 going into the home stretch of these games. So, I'm not going to talk about the stats anymore. We'll see what happens at the end of this event, and that's what we're going to get into now. Event number 10, The Collision. Now, this might be a little bit different than what you might expect. It's a team sport, and it's the second event so far that features all four marbles in a team. So, we're not going to have the bit of which marble is running for the team because all four will run this course. And as you can see, there are two ramps here that converge at the center point, and there are two bowls down below. Now the way this is going to work is, each team will roll down either the left ramp or the right ramp, and um, once they reach the bottom, they will collide with one another, causing them to jump over one another, to go back up the ramp, 
but eventually they're going to funnel down into one of these two bowls. And the object of the event is to make it successfully across the gap and get into the opposite bowl. And it'll be easy to keep track because I will color the bowls the colors of the teams that are meant to get there. So say we have the fireballs and the orators. The fireballs start on the left, the bowl on the right will be red. The orators start on the right, the bowl on the left will be orange. The colors will tell you which bowl the team needs to get to. So, to give you a brief example of this, I brought in two nondescript color teams, our classic nondescript green team, and since I had to have another, I brought in a gold team, reminiscent of our many gold medals in these games. So let me zoom out, I'll hit the play button, they will get bounced around a little bit in that top section. Then they will roll down the ramp at each other, and you will see how this event works. Alright, they're getting mixed around, here we go, they're going to begin down the ramp. Pretty slow traverse, you can see that there are these bumps that they go over, they will definitely spread out, I will zoom in as they go down here. Now, I didn't color the bowls yet, but I definitely will in the main event. All right, as you can see, the gold team is going here, the green team is going here as well. Some of them are funneling back to this side. Gold team going over here, green team going over here. All right, pause it. Let's zoom in. Now, like I said, the object is for the marbles to go down the ramp and make it to the opposite side. If you'll recall, gold started on the left, which means they need to go right. Green started on the right, which means they need to go left. As you can see, only one gold marble is on the right bowl, which means they get one point. On the other hand, two green marbles are on the left bowl where they need to be, which gives them two points. If this was a match in the tournament, the green team would advance, because two to one means the green team would win. So that is the object of the 10th event, Collision, and it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one style tournament. That means we're going to have eight matches, one team goes head-to-head -head against another, and um, it will keep going in a tournament style until we reach our final and our third place consolation round. Now, speaking of the Constellation Round, you're going to get a double feature in this event because we're going to have two different types of racing. One will be the main event, which is Collision. But since this is a one-on-one -on -one tournament, I can't use the same concept for the Constellation Round. So the eight losers in the first round, the four in the second, have to go to an alternate Constellation Race. And that is going to be a bonus event, and it's going to be the Bull Brawl Tiebreaker. So um, I can't have all the teams remaining tied just by losing a match in either round. So they will run down this short course. Series of bowls, the object is to get through the hole and to get to the end of the course first. Eight teams that lost in the first round will race each other and the order that they finish will determine the bottom half of the ranking. Then the four teams that lose in the quarterfinals will have the exact same process, only four marbles will run the course that will determine fifth through eighth. So you will get two bonus races in the bull brawl tiebreaker for the losing teams. Then we will have the final and the third place consolation round to determine the bronze. All right, that's about it. We have all our teams down here ready to run. We'll reveal who is facing who in the main event, which should be coming out later. If you want to see who reigns supreme in Event 10 Collision, and if you want to see the rest of the Alga Olympics, which is coming to a close fairly soon, please subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.